me, Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side my favorite Broadway basso profundo from Hades Town, the hit Tony Award winning best musical. Suck on that. Look, everybody, it's Patrick Page. Hi, everybody. Patrick, tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. We are in Riverside Park. If you come here and you come to the third bench after the dog park, and you should, this is my bench. See right here. Paige got this for me on my 50th birthday. Your beautiful wife, Paige. Yeah. And what are we doing today? We are having a picnic. And I brought champagne. Because he's classy as I do not know whether it's legal in the park or not. We're so gonna we're going to find, find out. out if we get busted. What if mommy and daddy get a ticket? Don't well. put our eyes out, Patrick Paige. Well played. Shit. OK, grab it. It looks like you have a baby. But it's made out of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love your chicken baby. Get a good piece. I've got to get a good piece. Okay, here we go. Oh, good. Very good. What the what is it like starring in the eponymous, some might say, titular role of Hades in the musical Hades Town on Broadway? What the what is that like? I'm still stuck on the fact that you said titular. I love that there's a seven-year-old boy deep in your heart. <laughs> you said titular. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's really cool. I recommend it to anyone who can get it. If you can get the title or titular role. If you could get those notes. If, if you could get those low, you, low notes. I would say the titular role in any Broadway sure. musical is probably a good a good gig. Yeah, not bad. And you know what? People stand up and applaud me. Yeah. And then they wait at the stage door and ask to have their picture taken with me. It makes you, it's very humbling. I just want everybody to know when Patrick Page talks, I can feel it vibrating through the bench into my body. And I think it's great. You just said vibrating into my body. <laughs> Seven year old. And she just said titular a little while ago. I understand that when you were auditioning for schools, you auditioned in a white outfit. How, how do you know this? Care to comment, Patrick Page? I did audition in an all-white outfit. What the, my, possessed you? Now, you have to understand, this is the late 70s and early sure. 80s. So I wore an all-white suit, like John Travolta in sure. Saturday Night Fever. and. I felt it made me memorable because even if they didn't remember sure. anything else, they would be like the guy in the white suit. Do you have any pictures of that? <laughs> I'm sure they exist. I don't have any Let's right now. Let's take a look. Oh, wait a minute. We have a special guest. This is Georgie. Georgie, hi. Her pronouns are she and her. Thank you. No, you can't have my chicken, Georgie, and you certainly can't have my Come champagne. Come here, George. <gasps> Fill in the blank. A performance I've given that I've absolutely hearted was? I love playing Cyrano de Bergerac at the Old Globe. Perfect. A performance I've given that stunk up the joint was? When I was at the Utah Shakespeare Festival. Yes. I was playing uh, the priest in Twelfth Night. Yeah. Who comes in for one scene. How can you f that up? Well, you can't unless you are so hungry for attention that you try to make it into something. That's you, dude. And that's me. So I gave him a, a cough, a really bad cough, because I thought, I'd read stories, you know, about Olivier making a, you know, just a brilliant turn as yeah. just a shallow or something and being the most memorable thing in the show. You're like, I'm going to make Shakespeare better. Yeah. More better. -er. That was me. The review I got on that show, and first of all, the priest, You were reviewed? Well, the priest should never be reviewed. Shouldn't be mentioned. But he was. The review said something to the effect of, the acting is all generally fine, except when it comes to the priest of Patrick Page. <laughs> and there was a paragraph about how terrible I was. <laughs> I can smell it from here, yeah. through time and space. <laughs> 
I want you to tell me a juicy story about one of your co-stars. It could be, it could be Reeve Carney, it could be Reeve Carney, or it could be Reeve Carney. You get to choose, but please keep it juicy. All right. Well, what a lot of people don't know about Reeve is he's got a really infantile, stupid sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> so I love where this is going. I remember during Spider-Man at one point he had like some stupid beard made out of yarn that made him look like a yarn Viking. And he was running through the hallway in his underwear, just his underwear and this stupid yarn beard. Um, Roll clip. <laughs> just kidding. I actually might have a picture of that. Let's take a look. <laughs> are married to a wonderful woman named Paige Davis. You have this beautiful daughter, Georgie. With due respect to your lovely family, the name of the game is Celebrity Free Pass. Oh yeah. For uh, me or for Paige? For you. I love that you know Paige's though. I know Paige's because I just worked with him the other day. Who was it? Jimmy Smith's. Jimmy Smith's is Paige's celebrity free pass. Yeah, she told me that when we first got together 24 years ago. When you like, met Jimmy Smith's, did you walk up, shake hands, and say, Hey, my name's Patrick Page, and you're my wife's celebrity free pass? I did. He was very sweet about it. He I asked it, to see a picture of her. Bet it's not the first. <laughs> he did not. The big question's lightning round. This is the Hades Town edition. What happens when we die? We go to Hades. Can people die and then return to the living? No. It is the bourne from which no traveler returns. It's classic as f If you could be the god of some place, where would it be? I would be the god of Broadway. Yes. If you could be the god of something, what would it be? Champagne. If you could have one word carved on your tombstone, right. Patrick Page, what would it be? It's a Greek word. The word is arete. A-R-E-T-E, -E. and it means... The more you know. It yeah. means striving for the best life. What do you want to accomplish in this lifetime? I'd like to get better at what I've chosen to do. Uh, one of the things I like... Arate. Yeah. Last question. Cake or pie? Pie. You like cake? This has been a bitter disappointment, Patrick Page. You like cake, huh? Yeah, I like cake. Guess what time it is? What time? It's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. I got your nose and you can have it back or I'll feed it to Georgie. But first, you have to sing me a song. Can I make what am a I gonna sing Can I make you? a request? Well, yeah. Can you sing me the wall song? Why do we build the wall, my children, my children? Why do we build the wall? That's it, that's the whole f***ing song. Keep going. I don't sing anymore than the kids sing to me. Why do we will build the wall? I never memorize the words, but we build the wall and it does something and the something else does something else and it's the best written song on Broadway right now and it's why we build the wall. We build the wall to keep us free. This has been another amazing episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell. Oh, you can have your nose back. Oh, thank you. With my beautiful friend, Patrick Page, do yourself a favor, spend whatever you have to and go see him in Hades Town no, on the, Broadway. Don't spend the, too much though. Or before. sneak in under a catering cart like they do yeah. in the movies. Just go on and see it. Yeah. But don't spend $1,500. Or do. I gave away your Jimmy Smith's uh, Do you mind if we use that? Well, that's not embarrassing. You should be proud. I love Jimmy Smith's, and you should be happy, because you look like him if you were Latin. See? <laughs>